Tech Houston YT. Tech for content creation. Today, it's Doug from Doug Houston YouTube here. And today is a bit of a mix. It's a cross between a news flash and an update regards to a process that I outlined in a video about 12 to 18 months ago on updating your profile picture on YouTube using an iPad or an iPhone in this case. What happens is I showed you a method of updating your profile picture, which is that little circle thing that you see on YouTube, which I've probably popped up on the screen just now to show you. And basically how you can quickly update it using the YouTube app. Well, alas, it no longer works. I'm gonna to cut to me over on the computer showing you the article where it discusses this. And then we dive into some options on an iPhone on how you can possibly do it in an alternative way. And here I am on a YouTube help post that was posted uh, recently highlighting some features of YouTube that are no longer available due to Google Plus being removed from our internet basically. But the main thing we want to talk about is the very first one in this list you can see down here if I scroll up it says channel art and channel icon editing on mobile. Now I did a video over probably 18, 12 to 18 months ago called updating a profile pic on an iPad and it involved being able to use the YouTube app on the iPad or iPhone for that matter and uh, be able to update your channel art or your profile picture on the app itself. But here it says this, previously you could update your channel icon and channel art from the mobile app in your channel settings. This feature was built on an older system connected to Google Plus that no longer work. We're looking into whether we can rebuild this feature in the future. In the meantime, you can manage your channel icon and update your channel art on desktop. You can also change your channel icon on your mobile web browser at aboutme.google.com. Okay, so we're going to check this out right now as to how we can do this. So what I'm going to do is see if I can bring up my phone. So we'll cut to that in a second and we'll look at how easy it is to get into that aboutme.google.com on a mobile web browser. All right, here we are on my iPhone XR. Firstly, let's demonstrate the fact that you can't do this on the mobile app anymore. So let's just go into the mobile app. So the way we used to do it, let's see if I can remember my own instructions here. Just go to the channel, click the cog, and then you can change things like your title, there, uh, you, you name your channel and description. Now you used to be able to tap on the channel banner and the profile pick up the top. They used to have little little edit buttons, little cogs, little cameras. You used to be able to change that. I'm clicking and there's nothing happening up there on the top. So that's the thing that, this is where you used to be able to do it. You can't do it anymore. So let's get out of YouTube. Okay, so we need to go to a browser that basically emulates well you know let's try safari first so it said to go to about me google.com see what safari does and then we'll go and go to a guaranteed okay this is where i need to sign in so all right now we're in let me get my brand account okay so this allows us to change our profile picture profile picture we can see the little camera we can update our profile picture still by this method, but we cannot do the channel art method. The channel art cannot be done. There we go, we're back out on the main screen. We could do the same thing in Puffin Browser, but it's gonna basically give us the same thing, where we can update our profile picture, but it's, there's no way, nowhere there where you can actually update your channel art. The only way you can do it is physically go into your channel as a um, desktop browser options. It should open. See now that's now I'm on my phone, but that's opened up the full desktop version. Now, of course, judging by the selection it's given me that this is just a blank, so I'm not logged in at all. So I need to basically sign in, which is hard to do. Let's zoom in. There we go. And then we've got our sign in process. So 
I'm not going to do it, but it's basically the same way you do it on a desktop. And i am just put out a video uh, as, as the episode number three in my series of YouTube for Noobs, where I talk about uploading channel art. So it's the same process once you log into your account, but I'll show you on a desktop, of course, because it's a lot easier that way. But it can be done using a browser like Puffin, which I'm using here. There it is there at the bottom. The Puffin browser with the picture of the Puffin. And that's how we can do it on a mobile if you have nothing else. But I recommend highly that if you can get a hold of a desktop browser and use that, that's the way to go. Well, yeah, it's not an easy thing. It was it was a very cut and dry process on the iPhone, iPad using the YouTube app. And no longer can you do it because of Google Plus going away. It's a legacy system and they're not planning on, on fixing that in the app anytime soon. Particularly when it comes to channel art, you're going to have to head on over and do it on desktop or use a, a mobile browser that emulates a desktop like Puffin Browser that I showed in the demonstration. What do you think about this? It's, it's a little bit sad, but we know that it needs to happen because Google Plus is uh, being totally removed from our lives uh, by April this year. So big shout out to uh, D Nimmin for um, having a bit of a Twitter discussion about this earlier today, uh, which prompted me to get on my desk here and get a video on out to you. Representing the Nimanati, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'll catch you later.